guys, I found the real Garfield. He's right here. <laughs> Look at him. I mean, want some enchiladas. <laughs> want some lasagna. Look. He's just a Garfield. <laughs> What's that? He's a Norwegian forest cat we have learned. But I'm gonna call him Monster. <laughs> I just wanna know what he looks like. He just looks like a bull. Yeah, well, guys, I thought it was a first. He time. looks like a bear. <laughs> no. Look at the size. Okay, I definitely wouldn't want one of those. What can you mean? That's adorable. It's like a dog. How what though? <laughs> You grumpiest cat I've ever seen. Mr. Grumbles, that's your name. Mr. Grumbles. I tried so hard to play with this cat, and then the lady who works here came along and just started playing with him. Hello everyone, welcome to Japan. We're actually about mm, two days into the trip. I've kind of slacked on the vlogging a little bit. So I thought I'd just let you know what we've done so far and sort of uh, we'll go from there. This video is going to be like a highlights of my Japan trip, I suppose. So we're staying on like the, the east side of Tokyo, which is the, how do I put it nicely? The bathroom tile place. <laughs> so it's not, it's not exactly the prettiest place. It's like the older part. But it's still nice, it's still an experience, but we're not staying in the expensive bit. We've actually got like, look, this is our front door, this is our front door, right there. This is, this is where we're staying. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, what we've got planned, we, yeah, well, yesterday, I'll tell you what we've done. I'll tell you what we've done so far. I really don't want to drop my camera because... Live life on the edge. So what we've done so far is a lot of the Tokyo experience I suppose. We went up the sky tree and saw 360 views, we went round the Imperial Palace and in fact we actually walked all the way round the Imperial Palace which took about an hour and a half just to find out that it's closed on Fridays. Thanks Japan, put up some signs, <laughs> we didn't know. Um, yeah so we kind of just did the Tokyo thing for a bit wasn't you know there was an awful lot to vlog and I just wanted to chill out after getting here. It was a 14-hour flight. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go to a market and then we're going to go out of Tokyo to Nikko, which has this really cool shrine. I've actually been there before, and uh, when I get there, you'll probably see that I'm like red in the face, like because <laughs> it's up this massive hill. I was here in Japan last year and had a lot of fun then too. So I've kind of got the experience of uh, what's What's good and what's not. So let, let me show you where we're staying. So yeah, this is pretty much the room. This is where I'm. This is where I'm sleeping. That's the wonderful view outside of uh, downtown Tokyo, bathroom tile city. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we just got a couple of futons and some cooking equipment over there, which we don't use. Yeah, just it, it's a tiny room, but. It was cheap and it's affordable and that was the main thing. We, we barely spend any time here, we just come here, we sleep after like 20 kilometers of walking and then we go to bed. So, let's go to the market. I'm a little surprised because the entire market is uh, under a car park. <laughs> let's go and have a look around. To be honest, it looks like just random, normal, random stuff. It just looks a lot like a car boot. Yeah, it, I think it is. Yeah. But it's just got the occasional Japanese thing. Isn't that the same thing that's in... That is the same piece of furniture that's in our apartment. <laughs> that is. That is straight up the same thing. So we've looked around this... Uh, this market is just, it's full of junk. It's just every bit of junk you can imagine. Still no Shibas. I'm on the hunt for Shibas. Any of them. My mission for this vlog is for, like this trip to Japan is to pet every Shiba that I find. Every single one. Without fail. And there'll be a Shiba counter and everything. We will pet all of the Shibs that we find. 
Wow. Hello. <laughs> huh? The question is, how cold is it and can we swim in it? <laughs> Part of the reason we came here was because of this amazing place. How do I look? <laughs> you look gorgeous to me! Perfect! <laughs> I think I'm falling for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit of a wimp, really. I was determined to go for a swim here. I even bought my swimming stuff. But we were told that it's uh, actually kind of dangerous. So we're not going to. And it's really, really cold. We stuck our feet in and we were like, <sighs> probably sending me into a hypothermic shock. But just, it's just so pretty. Look at this. We're in Na Nazame Ne Toko, or something like that. That's, that's the name of the gorge. Yeah, so we had a pretty, we're having a nature day today instead of going through the metropolis that is Japan. There's actually a lot of natural beauty, which I didn't get to appreciate last time, so I'm really happy that I came. Like, look at that. It's just sheer cliffs. There's actually a little bit more. There's a little bit more up there. You can see uh, <laughs> Ryan and Nick trying to get up the. Uh, Yoo-hoo! <laughs> <laughs> the plan is to go into those trees and there's a bunch of temples which are sublime. So what we're going to do is just try and get up there without dying and enjoy the sight basically. Let's go. Okay. Uh, we, we start our ascent. <laughs> This is nothing. <laughs> this is not, this is this is this is, warm -up. this is level one. <laughs> this is level. This is the tutorial. <laughs> we got half an hour to look around everywhere. We were so late getting here because it, it took like two and a bit hours to get here. Everyone's leaving. I think we're the only ones going in now. I got all. Look at this, look at that. Up here, you must have heard of the uh, phrase, see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil, right? Well, this is where it originated from. And it's a little, um, like a mural, wooden mural here. And you can, you can see it. So let's see, right, if you go, see that one in the middle? That's hear no evil, speak no evil, see no evil. They've got a load of bonsai trees here today, and this is probably my favourite one. It's gorgeous. It's incredibly difficult to grow a bonsai tree, so these are really, really something. I, they're on, obviously displayed here at the temple because they're fine examples. Look at this one. Wow. Stunning. So you can see like the gold bits and then the white stuff. Obviously that wouldn't have been white. Maybe they are gonna paint it, or maybe they haven't got around to it. But you can see that this has all been painted in the last year. It's a shame, there's still, there's still works going on, but at least you can still see the temple, which is nice. There's a little uh, portable shrine in there. All right, we haven't actually got long because we got here so late. And it's a long way up to the tomb, so that's level three. We had level one down there, level two on the way. That's like the boss <laughs> of staircases. Uh, <laughs> all right, it's absolutely stunning. Yeah. We haven't got long enough to take it all in. Fortunately, I've been here before, but Ryan hasn't. All right, we've begin. We begin level three of the <laughs> stairs. <laughs> we've got 207 steps to. And Ryan rightly just pointed out, if we do two at a time, it's half the amount of steps. Yeah. <laughs> but it's still the same distance. <laughs> it's more work. We're almost there. 
We're almost there. Oh, feeling the burn. Right, here we are. The tomb of some dude that's important on the other side of the world to me a few hundred years ago. Wow. This is it. There's a dude buried in there. Anyway, we're gonna head back to Tokyo now. We've got another two and a half hour journey back. And then we're off to a place called Hakone, which is up in the mountains and there's a lovely lake and it's a bit of a change of scene from the hustle and bustle of the metropolis of Tokyo. So, let's go. Oh, so here we are in Hakone, we made it. How nice is that? I think we're just about to come up to the place and uh, well, we're pretty tired from traveling. So I think the plan is we're gonna go in, we're gonna go and get changed, get showered and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then we're gonna head to an open air museum. And then we're gonna, tomorrow we're going to the lake. So this is the place, it looks lovely. Absolutely lovely. Gorgeous place. I think I'll show you around at the end of the trip. I've been here before, so I reckon I'll show you everything later. But let's go and take a look around Hakone. <laughs> this is this is what it thinks of Nick. <laughs> How does this work? <laughs> what do you think you mean you did? What do you think you mean you did it wrong? <laughs> this is what that's what that's what it thinks of Nick. <laughs> this piece of art, you speak into that, and it manifests in the form of artwork. Screen is awful. See, it didn't like that. Say something nice about me. I love you. See, that's, I guess it looks better. <laughs> Subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Subscribe. Hit the like button and comment below. <laughs> I found a shimmer! <laughs> He's very excited. He's a bit nippy, isn't he? She's very... She likes people. <laughs> she likes people? No. No, no. <laughs> she just likes me. Hello. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, hello. <laughs> she just bites in my hand. Don't you hate Shebas? I love Shebas. <laughs> so yeah, I just, I just saw the cutest Sheba ever. I didn't even ask his name. Nick, did you ask his name? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Koro. Koro. Koro was his name. Six months old. Oh, six months old Shiba. Absolutely adorable. Perfect first. Shiba to find. The Shiba count is at one. Oh. <laughs> yeah. ah, hello. We found another one. Inside this guy. Come on. Inside. Inside. Oh. <laughs> Look what up. You're pretty. Oh. We're on our day out in uh, Hakone and <laughs> we're about to get on a pirate ship. Not the nicest weather. It's like meant to be a really nice day, but not today. Not to be. Mm -hmm. 
。ファンダイアウ。ファンダイアウ。As if by magic, it has now all cleared up. And we are at、uh, the Edo place that we were supposed to go. It's obviously like a re recreation, it's not the real one. The real one's gone for a reason I don't know. But let's take a look. It's quite, it's quite a nice site actually. Got the lake, the mountains. And、uh, actually, over there, you can't see it. That's where the summer palace is like a holiday home almost. It's really nice. We're all packed up and ready to go, so I thought I'd just sort of take you around when there's not so much mess and stuff like that. Yeah, so we've got our bags over there. We're gonna have a look at it here. This is like the Japanese style tatami room. It's a really nice house, but the best bit, the best bit is the bathroom. Okay? Because not only have you got like your sink, you got your stuff there. Hello. But the toilet here, yeah, it's just a, a normal Japanese toilet, right? But when you, like, when you like, go and do your business, this is the view. This is the view. Look at this. Like, this is a huge window. And you get this ginormous view of the mountains and the trees and all the like, flowers and stuff. Absolutely amazing. And that's, that's not even the best part yet because that's just the toilet. That's like your alone time, whatever. This, this is the best bit. This in, in J- Japan is called an onsen. And that, you see there, is like milky grey. That is pumped directly from the mountains. Oh, it's so hot in here, steaming up. If you're a Westerner, you might, you might find it a bit too hot, but they've got a cold tap, which is a really good thing, because you can just like make it a little bit cooler. I spent a lot of time in there relaxing. It does so much for your skin. Like, look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Look how, look how fresh they are. Normally, I have like one or two tired lines. I don't know what you call them, exhaustion lines, but I've got a really good night's sleep here. Got really good, had a really good time in the onsen. It's just, it's just a really nice place in general. It's got Triforce on its head. Yeah, it's a family crest. What an odd experience. That's awesome. We're in the bamboo forest. Best and longest grass in the world. Um, <laughs> we're gonna go now to an old postal town.、Uh, a few stops down on the train. Yeah, and then、uh, it's gonna be. Oh, they want to hug. Hug it, we'll hug, it hug it out. Who did? Design, man. The lens here. Wow. We're in a town called Sunago. And people just live here, this is a normal town, but it's like one of those really, really beautiful ones that you see in the pictures. So I'm pretty happy.、Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> I was super hopeful that we'd find a Shiba. That's number three. Like We're like five, six days into this. Maybe seven days? We're about halfway through the trip and we've only seen three Shibas. But you wait. In Kyoto. It doesn't stop here. Is that the go home bell? Yeah. You wait until we go to Kyoto, there'll be shivers everywhere. It's coming back. Also, I want to show you like, these are little swallows' nests. Isn't that cute? <laughs> oh, you are a cute one. <laughs>
Kyoto is actually the last place on our two week visit. And we went to all sorts of temples. We went up into castles and saw the mountains. I th had such a nice time in Japan in general. I met loads of Shibas, including this little fella, who I wasn't actually allowed to touch because he was a little bit twitchy, as you can see. And then we went to Fushini and Nari, which is the very famous orange Shinto gates, and it's just absolutely beautiful. Anyway, let's get on with it, shall we? The most interesting thing about this is if you turn around, why? You see all the markings. Because oh. oh, you, don't, you don't see it when you go this way. Yeah, they were donated by companies and things. And then if you go this way... Yeah, that's why there's so many, because people keep donating. Oh, oh what's his name? Uh, Kokoro. Kokoro. Oh, he's cute. Ooh. Arigato gozaimasu. So this is the top, there's not actually a view, but you get a nice view of like that building, that's it. But you get like a rock and a shrine or whatever. <sighs> that took a long time and I'm very tired. Now I'm going to go back down and get some food. This is pretty much the last day, so now it's time to go home everyone. End of the trip. Mickey, what? Mickey, are you okay? What's happened to you, man? Oh my goodness.